it's working. Okay, so yesterday we talked about our different types of slopes. Yes, it's working. Yesterday we talked about our different types of slopes. Today we're going to have to talk about how to find the actual slope. Okay, so I've got some steps for us. Steps are always good because if you get lost, you can go back to the step that you just completed. So the first step is you are going to pick two points on the line. Uh, yes. I'll tell you a little bit more about how you pick the points, how you make sure you pick the right points in a second. But that's your first step. You pick two points on your line. Okay? <clears throat> that's an easy step. Step two, also a very easy step. What you want to do is you want to start at the leftmost point. The point that is more to the left. Yes. Because these are these are easy steps. Step three is where we actually have to do a little work. What you are going to do is you are going to count how much you rise. Now, I said that where, that's where it gets hard, but the hardest part is counting. So it's really not that hard, is it? Can we count? Yeah. yeah. All right, so you're going to count how much you rise. Step four. You're going to count how much you run. I'll pause after this one so you can catch up. Okay, step five, you are going to take these two things, how much you rise and how much you run, and you're going to put them as a fraction. You're going to put your rise over your run. And then part of this step is we're going to simplify if possible. Sometimes it's possible, sometimes it's not. And I will show you how to do that. Okay, so let me clarify a little bit on the rising and the running. When I say rise, normally that means going straight up, but sometimes we will also go down. When I say rise down, that doesn't really make sense, but it just means go down. Okay? So rising will be up or down. Running is always going to go in this direction because since we are starting at the leftmost point, if I start on the left, I'm always going to run to the right. Okay? No, I always, 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 I want you to always start on the left because that will make this part easier for you. Trust me on that. All right, I think we're going to start with example two because that one's got a more spaced out. I want to do that. So I'm going to zoom in. And all right, so we're following our steps. Step one says pick two points on the line. Well, on these examples right here, I've already given you two points. And sometimes I will do that. Okay, so here's my two points. Second step says start at the leftmost point. Can you tell which one of these points is more to the left? The bottom one or the top one? The bottom one is more to the left because left is this way. So this is my starting point. All right, now here's where it gets somewhat hard because we're counting. Well, counting is not that hard. Okay, so we are going to rise. In this case, we are going to rise straight up. And we're going to rise until we line up with the other point. So rising until here. And we're going to count how many blocks or how many units did we rise. Not three and a half. Not two and a half. Three on the dot. Because here's your, here's your steps. One, two, three. All right, so I'm going to put a three over here just so I don't forget it. And then we are going to run straight over until we run into that point. And we will count. One, two, three, four um, blocks. Four. I count. So it's going to be a triangle. Yeah, when you do this, you're going to be forming triangles like we were before. But this is the th these are where you get your answers from. You're rising and you're running. Okay, so we rise three, we run four. The last thing is you put it in a fraction. If we rose three, we put it on top. If we run four, we put it on bottom. This is your answer unless you can simplify it. 
reduce. Whew. Now, let me, let me remind you how to do this in the calculator because I know it's been a while. What you're going to do is you're going to type in 3 divided by 4. 3 divided by 4. Hit enter. A lot of times you're going to get a decimal answer. I do not want a decimal. Okay? Then you hit this button right here that says math. And then you hit enter, enter. Now, if it gives you the same answer that you started with, that just means it can't reduce. So three-fourths is the answer. So what does this mean? This means the slope of my line, this line here, is three-fourths. All right, let's go back into example one. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so first thing is pick two points. Well, they've already given us two points. These are the ones we're going to use. Second step, start at the leftmost point. Which one of these is more to the left? The lower one or the higher one? The lower one, right? It's more to the left. So, now we rise. How far do we rise? One. And then we run. How far do we run? Three. So we rise one. We run three. So right now my answer is one third. I just need to make sure that it does not reduce. One divided by three is what you type in. Hit enter. And then math, enter, enter. One third doesn't reduce, so my answer is one third. Now, just to give you a helpful hint for the future, anytime you have one on top, this thing isn't going to reduce. Yeah, if you have one on top, it never reduces, so you really don't have to check that. Okay, example three. Now, this line is a bit different. Let me let me look at these real quick. Remember yesterday we talked about lines that are going up. Both of these are going up, right? They're positive. This line is going down. So it is going to have a negative slope. And now let me show you how that happens. Okay, first step is pick two points on the line. They gave us two points. Um, I'm going to give these letters. Let's say this is point A and this is point B. Can you tell which one is more to the left? Point B is, right? Okay, so B is my starting point. Now this time when I rise, I'm not going to go up because that's not taking me to point A. I'm going down. Now, how far do I go down? Can y'all tell how many that is? Three. Now, since we went down, we're going to use negative three. When you rise up, you are positive. When you rise down, which really doesn't make sense, it's negative. All right, so down three, and then how, more, how far do we run? One. One. No, because we always run to the right. That's positive. This, the run is always going to be positive. Okay, so we rise negative 3. That goes on top. We run 1. Last thing you need to do is type this in the calculator. But y'all might know this one. What's negative 3 divided by 1? Negative 3. That is the answer. But some people don't know that. Whoops. Some people don't know that. So if they type it in, it gives them negative 3. That's your answer. If you do math enter enter, it still gives you negative 3. So that just means the slope of this line is negative 3. Capiche? So it got reduced. It got reduced. This negative 3 over 1 reduces to negative 3. All right, let's try example 4. Yes, we'll do example 4 together, and then I'll let you try these two by yourself. All right. Example 4, first thing is, here's my two points. Which one's more to the left? The higher one, right? Okay. This time, we're going to rise down again. How far down? And since it's ne uh, down, it's going to be a negative 3. Okay, and then how far do we run? 2. All right, so we get negative 3 over 2. And just real quickly, it doesn't take you very long at all to do this. You always want to make sure it reduces. Negative 3 divided by 2. Math, enter, enter. And it gives you negative 3 over 2. So again, this one doesn't reduce either. whoop de doo It doesn't happen very often. Sometimes they do reduce, okay? And you'll see here in just a second where one does. But in this case, that's your answer. All right, I'm going to pause the thing for a second. I want you guys to try example 5 and 6. I gave you the points. You already have your points. So all you got to do is start at the left and then count your rise and your run. All right, for example 5, we're going to start here. This is more to the left. We go down. How far? 
three again. So down three, that's my top number. And then I run one, two, three, four, five. Now something that I wanted to, to point out because human one asked about it. When I type this in the calculator, negative three divided by five, math, enter, enter. The calculator puts the negative sign in the front. I'll put the negative sign on top. These two things really mean the same thing, okay? So if you, you can put your negative sign on top, you can put it out in front like this one, it's the same thing. Negative three-fifths is what both of these are saying. All right, example six. We are rising how far? Two. We're starting here, right? We rise two, and then we run four. So two over four. Now this one is one that does reduce. If you type in two divided by four, math, enter, enter, it reduces to one half. It's equivalent to one half. Technically, this isn't wrong, two fourths, but I, I want you guys to be in the habit of reducing it. Okay, back side. We're taking off the training wheels. Look at the back. What do you notice on these graphs? What's missing? I don't give you any points. So here's where step one comes into play. We have to pick two points, and we can't just pick any two points. Okay, here's how you pick. You're looking at the grid lines in the back, and we want to pick points that goes through one of these grid lines intersections perfectly. Okay, so I'm looking at my line, and what's jumping out at me is this one right here that point goes perfectly through that grid line. Do you see that? Human one, do you see that? See this intersection back here? That point goes perfectly through it. So now I need to find another point that goes perfectly through an intersection. So since this is the point, I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna work my way down, and I'm looking for perfectly through an intersection. How about right there? Zero, zero. All right, zero, zero. So these are the two points that I'm gonna use. Now the rest of it's the same. Now, somebody else might have not noticed this one for some reason, and they might have used this one down here. Would that work? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. All right. Their answer might have been different than mine to begin with, but when you reduce it, you would get the same thing. That's why reducing is important. Okay? All right, let's do this. So, which one of these points is more to the left? The lower one, right? Yeah. Okay, so we start at the lower one. How far do we rise? Five. Yes. And then how far do we run? Three. So my rise is five and my run is three. Five over three. I don't think this one reduces, but let's check. Five over three is the answer. Now real quickly, before I go any further, I want you to see what would happen if, let's say I didn't see this point and instead I used this one. Well, if I use this point and the, this point, how far am I rising? This time I'd be rising ten. And then I'd be running six. So I would do 10 over six. Well, guess what 10 over six reduces to? Five over three. 10 divided by six. Math, enter, enter. Same thing. Okay? <laughs> Calm down, buddy. So that is why you have to make sure you reduce. Because if you get this answer, technically it's not wrong. It's not reduced. I want it to be simplified, okay? <laughs> okay, let's look at example six. Let's do one or two or more of these together, picking our points together, and then I'll let you guys do some by yourself. So, um, do you, pick you can pick any points as long as they go through the intersection somewhere. So, when I'm looking at example eight, the first one that jumps out at me is this one right here. Right in the middle. Zero, three. All right, that's the first point I'm seeing. Now, I can go anywhere. This one has lots of points that would work. How about this one? Does that work? Looks good. I could have maybe used this one because I can tell that it's fixing to go right there. I could have used this one up here. But these are the ones that I'm using because those are the first ones I saw. All right. Which point is more to the left? The higher one, right? Yep. Okay. So we start there. When I rise, I'm going down. How far? Down one would be negative one. Okay. And then I run three. If I type that in the calculator, remember, when 1 is on top, it's not going to reduce. But if you don't believe me, negative 1 divided by 3, math, enter, enter, gives you negative 1 third. All right, you all want to try the, the other four by yourself? The only difference between this and the front is now you got to pick two points. Make sure you pick good ones. And make sure you reduce. Very good. All right, so example 9. Um, this one has, all right, let's see. This is the first point that jumps out at me. 
Now look closely because you always want to make sure you, you always want to pick points where you can tell exactly where they are. For example, human one at first chose this one, but then he realized, well, I don't know exactly where that is. Choose points that you know exactly where they are. That's why you're looking for your intersections. On this particular example, these are the only two points you could have chosen. Yeah. All right. So yeah, there's no other options. How much does that arise? That's a rise of what, seven? seven? Okay, and then we run two. So seven over two, and that does not reduce. Seven over two is the answer. Okay, now example 10 has a couple of options. Let's see, um, human one, what points did you use? Can you just tell me where they're at? All right, so that's a good one right there. And what else did you use? Perfect, all right. So human one used these points right here. Is it possible that I could have used this one in the middle? Yeah. Sure, okay, as long as you reduce, you get the same answer. So we're starting here, that's more to the left. How far do you rise? Rise two, how far did you run? 10, ten. run 10, and that one reduces to um, one, one, fifth. one fifth. So if you had used any other points, you would have still gotten one fifth, good. All right, human two, on example 11, can you tell me what points you used? All right, so this point right here, that's a good one, 0, 3, and then 1, negative 3. On this one, I think that's another one where those are the only points you could have used. That's, that's the one I used. Yeah, there aren't any other points on here that I can find, so these will work, okay? Did you start up here, human 2? All right, how much did you rise? Six. Since you went down, did you use a negative 6? Okay, so negative 6 is my rise. How far did you run? just one and if you type this in the calculator what do you get negative six is your answer sometimes your answer is going to be a whole number that's okay very good all right last one um human one tell me again which points did you use okay that looks good four three all right so again he used the outermost points. Could someone have used this one? Yeah. Sure, that would work. You use that one. Okay. So human one, how far did you rise? Two again? Yeah. All right. So he rose two. How far did you run? Eight. So you got two over eight. And if you type that in the calculator, two divided by eight, you get a decimal. Two divided by eight. Math, enter, enter. Oh, y'all can't see. You get one fourth. Human two, is that what you got? Yeah. And you use these points, right? Because you only rose one and ran four, which is exactly the answer. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna wait and do our worksheet tomorrow, just because we.